All right, what's up, Hawk Squad? This your man, Taurus Hawk, back here too. But it's now time for another Hawk Banger reaction week, baby. So, yes, now we could dose. So, as you may know, yes, I have cut the hair. I have officially cut my box because it is hot as hell down here in Georgia. It has been nuts. I was like, okay, this is this is getting crazy. I got to cut my box so I can feel much better. And I got a clean shave, of course. So, I was like, okay, in a couple of months, I'll go ahead and grow it back. But for now, I had to cut it off. I had to cut it off. But, yeah, looking fresh. So fresh, so clean, outcast style, but yes, one guy cut off. So with that being said, it is now time for another week of Hot Banger reactions, y'all. So yeah, this is going to be a really great one too because I have a bunch of recaps to get through and not much trailers that I have to react to. So yeah, it's going to be a damn good one. And also, I got to bring this up. This has been a hell of a month of Hot Banger reactions, man. I mean, I've dropped every single week. More than 15, I would say. More than I ever did, ever this year. Hell, really overall. Because, hey, look, I will set myself on to catch up to a lot of vids I missed out on. So, I went and took it out of advantage and got it down. Of course, college kind of got me, you know, kind of got me interfering in this. So, look, as long as I got it done, get, get the work done, right? So, yeah. Uh, it's been a hell of a month of making reactions, and I thank y'all so much for watching them. So, going back to what is coming today. So, Hallbanger Reaction Marathon is going to start with my Hallbanger Recaps. And that is, of course, the first things first, we're going to check out Blaine Boy's recap of Jurassic World. This is his recent one, and this is called When the Indominus Rex Absolutely Shut Down Jurassic World. So, Jurassic World, I've seen the first Jurassic World, came back in 2015, which just feels so crazy that came out that year ago. I used to binge watch the this movie so long in theaters, man. I was like, man, this, this is actually, you know, kind of one of my favorite movies that came out in 2015 because everybody was on this movie like hell. It made a billion dollars. I mean, it made money. It made money money so yeah um it's gonna be interesting seeing a Jurassic world recap the first one and the second one fallen kingdom at melee i was not a big fan of fallen kingdom i was not and dominion was okay it was okay you know and yeah just pretty much about it it was okay but i haven't yet to continue oh actually no i've yet to rewatch dominion but i rewatched fallen fallen kingdom twice i just like oh man this this ain't it that wasn't it. I mean, it was just like, damn, man. It was just a huge letdown compared to the first one, man, because I really like the first Rust World to this day. I know some people say, you know, it's crap or not. It's not like Jurassic Park. Sure, it ain't. It definitely ain't Jurassic Park at all, the first one. So, but overall, I still really enjoy Jurassic World for what it's worth. So, Hawk Squad, we're further ado, we're going to start this Hawk Banger Marathon with Jurassic World Recap by Blatant Boy. Let's check it out. It's about to go down. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. So the red flag for these scientists and any normal parent should have been seeing this demon spawn in from the egg. <laughs> Why the hell is my baby purple? Look at that thing back. <laughs> Just look at its evil eyes. Lil bro look like an Elden Ring ball. <laughs> so that's the Indominus Rex. Yep. And they made it to put as the new attraction display in Jurassic World. Not gonna lie, if it was real, I would low-key go. But we know how amusement parks be. For a small fee of your arm, you could cop some tickets. And if you throw in two of your grandchildren, <laughs> maybe you could afford some funnel cake. <laughs> but before they could put the Indominus Rex to the public, they need the help of the dinosaur whisperer, Owen, who's been yeah. training raptors. So Claire, who's like the head of this project, goes to see Owen to ask him to come check out the Indominus Rex to make sure it doesn't have any Forrest Gump tendencies. Basically, she's asking him to come and proofread her work, make sure all the com- By the way, Bryce House Hot got some beautiful blue eyes, man, Jesus. ...is in the right places and all that. So they head over, and for some reason, the Indominus Rex isn't showing herself anywhere in there. Hmm. So Claire starts checking the iPad, and it's showing that somehow the dinosaur isn't anywhere to be found. Yep. And this is when Owen hits him with that cheesy movie line. <laughs> 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 You're going to see this. Yep, yep, and it's yep. giant scratch marks on the wall. I'm crying. The Indominus <laughs> Rex done peeped them through the glass and said, Who are these niggas? <laughs> they decided to dip out. So Claire starts panicking to the park's headquarters, while Owen and the security guard, who's doing a great job making sure all the fridges are protected, head in there. And so at the HQ, they check the tracking device inside of her, and it shows that the Indominus Rex is still in its exhibit. Hmm. So she starts yelling to them to get the hell up out of there. She done bamboozled us. Hmm. Done put fake marks on the wall to make it seem like she escaped and lured them into a trap. Hmm. The 40-year-old IG thoughts who hunt young NBA players taking notes out of the <laughs> But it was too late, cause she stops these two right in their tracks, and they try to turn around and run through a different gate, but she done snagged that man up off the yep. ground and started beasting her. 
Meanwhile, the Hall of Fame plate cleaner decides <laughs> plate cleaner. to open the gate to the entire exhibit, causing a security breach. Yeah. I don't know, man. I got a question upper management on this one. How did this security guard get the job to guard the most dangerous dinosaur here? What's next? Is the lifeguard at the pool black? Also, <laughs> yes. opening the gate saved Owen's life because he's able to make it through just in the nick of time on some Maze Runner type timing. Hmm. But there was still an Eddie Murphy gap worth of space left, which <laughs> means Murphy a lot gap. could fit through as half of her body was free. And Owen slides under the car to try and hide, but all he can do is continue to become more and more unrelatable to Daredevil as he watches. Damn. The Indominus Rex slowly starts walking towards the Donut Defender while he's trying his best to camp, but they it won't work. work. No, nope, sure, no. Nope. dinosaur has a strong sense of smell, and she can smell those french fries in your pocket. That boy knew it was raps, had to kiss the Jesus piece on the way out as yep. she smacks the whole van away like it's absolutely nothing. <laughs> yep. Owen turns back around and looks up to see bro get snagged up in one bite. Yep. Mm. Owen, not wanting to be on the menu next, has to think fast, realizing he can pour gasoline on himself. Got him looking like he catching the R. Kelly special oh, in nah. order to mask his scent so nah. she can find him so after she finishes off the other guy which took a while there was a lot of meat to devour she comes over by owen and puts her nose right to the car trying to sniff him out using her smelling powers keep in mind for context the indominus rex is mixed with a bunch of different creatures which claire is keeping a secret even though Owen asked her because she knows it's some wild ass shit. Hmm. Like the yeah. reason she couldn't be detected earlier is because she has camouflage abilities from the hmm. cuttlefish DNA inside of her. So I wouldn't be surprised if she bust out fucking laser beams in a second here. But she sniffs around and is eventually just like, Anywho, <laughs> he's not worth all this effort and dips out of there to go cause havoc in the rest of the park. So Owen is tight at this point and starts pressing her to reveal all what the Indominus Rex is mixed with. And she starts snitching. <laughs> a Carnotaurus, a Gigantosaurus, a Majingosaurus, a Rugops, a Therizinosaurus, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, as well as Cuttlefish, Tree Dart Frog, Pit Viper, and a Starfish. Right. Oh, we wanted it to have a sense of humor. So they send in the security team to try and stop the Indominus Rex. Sent those boys in there with heart monitors to track if they're still alive. And that right there would have been enough for me at the job interview to be hmm. like, you know what? I'm gonna just go try plumbing or some shit. Yeah. Owen tries telling them to call off the mission. He couldn't believe that they sent those men in there with non-lethals. Hmm. Bro right here hits the Black Lives Matter and it's because he found this on the ground. Owen explains that she ripped out her tracker because she was able to remember when they put it in. What the f fuck? <laughs> I can't even remember what I had for breakfast. When my mom asked, I was like, A motherfucking, uh oh, girl. Hell, oh, <laughs> but while Bo is examining some meat that niggas in Cambodia are probably drooling after, they look up, he looks up at the bloody leaves and stands up, and right here I already knew it was GG's for Lil' yep, sure was. should have listened to Owen, cause the cameraman pans and all we see is leaves, and out of nowhere the leaves just become the Indominus Rex. Omi tries to run away, but you ain't the main character. The director was never gonna let that happen. Cause he gets grabbed, kicking and screaming while his teammates watch him get thrown into the water. And yep. you might think she's gonna eat him, nope. right? Nah. Just mushed him. <laughs> Just stomps on, him. on his ass. Yep. And stop on him. Niggas yep. in the booth watching the whole thing unfold, not giving Oh by the way, the guy who got stomped on, he's actually the main villain in Tokyo Drift them any call-outs or nothing on top of sending them in there with these little baby ass tasers and it's because they need to protect the investment that is the indominus rex they all trying to zap her doing zero damage and bro right here gets smacked into the tree some of the others start to get the memo trying to dip out but bro gets grabbed and man that's gg's for my guy Craig yeah. right here and as if a worse job could not be done to try and stop the indominus rex my man right here shoots her with the net the fuck are we doing here? Jellyfisher? <laughs> a temporary muzzle won't stop her from knocking over a whole tree nope. and crushing y'all. And that muzzle didn't last longer than Jeremy Lin's career, all of five seconds. So she rips it off and unleashes a roar. Dudes tried hitting her with that Kanye West and she's not going for it. Hmm. Smacking these two away and starts devouring this man, painting the leaves red. Yeah. And some of the guys here want to be superheroes so bad. Look at him. You shooting her with Nerf bullets, my boy. You should have been running. Now you dead. Hmm. 
So Owen starts pressing everybody like, yo, y'all just created the first ever super soldier dinosaur. Evacuate the place and whip out some real guns before she kills everyone. And Claire is like, nah, nah, I don't really feel like, like, it. like it. Because she doesn't, and I quote, want to turn this place <laughs> into a war zone because they never reopen <laughs> again. Did you see that? That's a stupid bitch. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Because letting it run around to build up a VTOL warship kill streak is so much better. So people are still just chilling on the rides, not knowing what's going on. And these two badass kids here decide to go off course from the ride. Uh, they think shit's sweet out here. No just way. sitting around counting dinosaurs and Brig Bro's like, hey, look, there's four of them. But Lil Bro is like, nah, there's five. And he looking at him like, Nicky, you stupid. Don't make me smack your slow ass. There's clearly four. Five. As the reflection of the Indominus Rex shows through, <laughs> and they turn around to see nothing but big teeth and a roar got Jeez. them spazzing out. But before the older brother Zach could even put his foot on the gas pedal to get the hell out of there, she takes off, kicking them to go ping pong in between the Ankylosauruses who are running for their lives. And this is how you know Zach is actually a good big brother, cause his little bro is terrified and goes to hold his hand. Zach could have really been toxic and hit him with the. <laughs> Nigga, you get. My boy is in shambles. Is them tears, bro? <laughs> but one of the ankylosauruses who were running away tripped and ate dirt. So now she has absolutely no choice but to fight. Letting off a baby eye roar that just <laughs> simply pales in comparison. And while they're having a Mexican standoff, Zack tries to use this moment to sneak up out of there, but they get hit with his tail Damn. crashing into a tree and end up rolling upside down, now having no choice but to spectate a fight. And listen, I know none of us were rooting for CP Zero Rings versus Giannis Antetokounmpo in the finals, Damn. but this time, we gotta cheer for the midget so they can get <laughs> out of there. But she gets stacked dumb hard with the tail and goes for a bite, but can't, leaving another hit. Thing is, the Indominus Rex got teeth, height, and strength, <laughs> while this motherfucker has to twerk to try and land attacks. Was never a fair fight, as she cuts one leg to make her collapse to the ground, and little bro right here had to look away. He knew what was coming. She flips her over and with one shot goes straight to the head, calling GG's. I want to give a shout out to the Ankylosaurus though. You put up a good fight, <laughs> but not a great one. <laughs> Thing is, the two boys are the nephews of Claire. They're here to visit, so she's calling them, and bro's ringtone is making the whole plot <laughs> hot to where he looks up and... Yeah, staring. That right there would have been enough. No need for teeth, claws, stomping. That stare only is putting me online for the Michael Jackson meeting. <laughs> she then starts turning these boys like she's trying to twist off the lid of a jar and pokes a hole in the glass. For what reason? I'm not sure. Because she ultimately just goes to eat the whole ball, crushing the glass. Strong ass jawline. They must have sprinkled in some of that fucking crimson chin DNA. <laughs> she then starts feeding, banging them repeatedly against the ground to try and get them out. But Big Bro starts using his think box, unbuckling their seatbelts so they fall out. And then they start doing the only thing they can. Hit the dash! While she's still eating the glass for literally no reason, they done created the first ever dinosaur with CTE. <laughs> them boys done turn into Usain Bolt with her hot on their trails until they end up on the edge of the cliff and have no other choice but to jump. They should be good though. Now if they had casted like Jaden Smith and Kayla McLaughlin for these roles instead, then I'd be like, maybe take your chance versus the dinosaur instead. <laughs> Damn. Just in the nick of time, they avoid the beaten. And then they hold their breath for mad long. Niggas had to turn into Aquaman because she's <laughs> spawn camping up there waiting for them. But ultimately, she either realizes or decides that they're not even worth it for real and decides to just dip out of there. <laughs> so the Indominus Rex continues to go around going crazy. Owen's still tied at Claire, telling her to look at this shit. Help, 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 bodies, 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 bodies. They're all dead. And he points out that the Indominus Rex ain't even eating the animals. She's just killing them for sport, for the love of the game. These niggas done created an evil dinosaur. <laughs> but Claire and Owen are looking for her nephews out here, so they keep on finding a car, but gets interrupted by a loud bang. Knowing these is the dinosaur trenches, a triceratops could be lurking around any corner. Owen <laughs> goes to get his blicky, but yeah, nah, my boy. That <laughs> won't don't work. work. She even started trolling with them, peeking her head and bumping the car like, come on out. What you hiding for? They think I can't see them. And then just slowly backs out of there. They luckily dodged a bullet. 
got them wiping sweat right off their forehead. Yeah. <laughs> she hit them with a fake out, but they managed to turn on the jets and get the hell up out of there. Got her left behind raging as she sets her heights on a whole new target. So Claire finally decides that the non-lethal is not gonna cut it. Fucking slingshots and frisbees were never gonna do the job. So hmm. she calls in heavy artillery, a goddamn attack chopper, yeah. to turn that dino into nuggets. They spot her down below and start unleashing the mag into her. But I don't know who the gunman is because he's hitting everything except the 12 foot dinosaur. Somebody hmm. need to snag that gun from Helen Keller. His ass is selling. <laughs> she then activates her Kaisenat powers, headbutting the glass dome. And this is the pterodactyl exhibit. As she starts roaring at all of them, and I need y'all to understand, she don't do anything for no reason. Everything is calculated on some Batman timing. Hmm. Y'all should come over to the Batcave tomorrow. You just want us around so you could figure out our weaknesses. Damn. A nigga can't throw a party no more. <laughs> She's swinging, biting, and scaring them in order to make them fly up towards the helicopter. And we already know the gunman is Russell Westbrook's stylist. No, no, no. nothing but miss. Chucking up air balls, getting knocked out the helicopter. Damn. They're getting feasted on, one coming right through, sparing the passenger mm. right in the mm. chest. The pilot is Claire's boss, and there's nothing she can do as she- Oh yeah, about the way, RP to the actor who played Car's boss. He passed away a few years ago. I've seen him in some movies before, like Son of Millionaire and Left Pie. He was a great actor, too. He watches seeing the helicopter crashing through and exploding Damn. as the Indominus Rex runs away again like a badass kid who got something they shouldn't have. But what this also means is all the pterodactyls are free yep. and causing havoc to yes. everyone in the park. So Zack and Gray's tour guide, who's been taking care of them while visiting because their Aunt Claire is too busy for them, moving like a father pre-NBA draft, <laughs> gets done so dirty for no reason. Yes. She's telling yes. them, hurry up, let's go, and gets snagged up. And then they start passing her around like a Harlem Globetrotter basketball, yes. dropping her out the sky, just to then catch her again, only Damn. to fly over the water and drop her again. Damn. And we know- That was so brutal, how the way she died. That was so brutal. And by the way, that actress right there, she was in the Continental. That falling from that high into water is the same as hitting concrete. Her legs are already spaghetti noodles. <laughs> they then go into the water to get her scooping her back up. The first ever dinosaur block spin, and they must have been trying to glaze her with some nice delicious ocean salt water because it starts torturing her, dipping her repeatedly under the water over and over again. Mm. This shit reminds me of how Patrick yep. was trying to save Spongebob from drowning. Yep. And y'all probably think there's <laughs> no way this could get any worse, right? Wrong. Wrong. The Mosasaurus yeah. pops Jeez. out the water, eating the pterodactyl who's eating the boy's tour guide. And I don't know, bro. I'm just sitting here yes. thinking about her and the director just like, damn. <laughs> what did she do to make that nigga <laughs> that mad? The death just felt so cruel for a character right? who did no wrong. Right. And continuing too. on, this Hall of Fame male creator is Vic, who's <laughs> the head of security at Jurassic World. And he's been obsessed with the idea of using the dinos as weapons this whole I did remember Vincent Nafia was the villain in this whole movie. So when he peeps that Indominus Rex was out there tweaking, he starts licking his lips like he typically does at least 12 times a day yes. at the idea of using Owen's raptors to stop her. But Owen obviously not going for that. So off pull up, no what's good or nothing, <laughs> just rocks his ass. No! But Vic is like- Star-Lord punches Kingpin. Like, listen, it's happening whether you like it or not, little bro. So you can either <laughs> cry about it or help us. So Owen starts detailing the plan and gives them one rule. Do not shoot my raptors. Going over and consoling his baby girl Blue before battle. This man be favoriting the shit out of her. Be treating <laughs> the other raptors like the rest of the RDC members. And so for context, there's Blue, Delta, Charlie, and Echo. As they head off, the raptors leading the way to the Indominus Rex. While Claire is in just as much danger, she stayed back at the station in a <laughs> van watching the flash. That trash shit could kill her. Owen's riding with the Raptors, giving Blue that nod as they continue on. He's got a military backup and his probably Nigerian friend with him, all to help. Meanwhile, this big bag demon is back safe and sound munching, even though this was all his terrible idea. Eventually though, the Raptors just stop. So Owen and them start head glitching, getting ready, and then we see her. The Indominus Rex comes out. But remember how Claire listed to us all the different things they put in the Indominus Rex? Yeah, well, Owen quickly realizes that she left one out. 
this thing is part Velociraptor yep. too. And it yep. starts communicating with the raptors, telling them, hey, y'all yep. help me? I could bless y'all niggas with half the island. And they must have heard all they needed to hear, because it only took a calm 30 seconds of sweet talking for them hmm. to turn around and set their sights on the humans yep. now. They really just pulled up and gave her teammates. This like LeBron trading Kyrie to the Golden State Warriors. Yep. They waste no time and get to blasting, shooting her ass with a whole rocket launcher. But she somehow just ate that shit like it was nothing. Getting back up and skedaddling out of there to let the Raptors do her work for her. So the humans start going after her and this shit is straight out of a horror movie. It's way too dark to see. Nobody is safe except maybe Owen's homie. We are only able to keep the massacre coming through the night vision GoPros. Big Bag Vic set all these poor soldiers in there and now we have nothing but raptors with full stomachs. Who's getting dragged away kicking and screaming. The only person who can control them is Owen. So while he's going around, he spots Charlie. And remember what he told everyone to start. Do not shoot my raptors. Too late. They asses yes. don't listen. Got yep. raptor DNA everywhere. Now they finna make eight <laughs> more of these niggas. Yep. Blue's trying to eat Unk. She's seen straight barbecue chicken. But Owen is able to hop on the bike and divert attention away to him. While Claire's still at the base with the boys, watching everyone's kneecaps ripped apart in 4K. The boys in the back of the van in shambles. So she's trying to console them and... <laughs> Yep. Bro tells them to go. She said, oh, oh, say that. Nice. <laughs> put her foot on the gas. Say no more. We out of here. And bro tried to hit them with the, hey, guys, wait on me. Yes. But he didn't even get the chance as Delta yep. started feasting on him. So Claire is whipping the foreign through this dirt road while Delta is chasing behind until out of nowhere, Echo jumps yep. through the window trying to bite her from the side, eventually falling off the van. But this <laughs> means now both Echo and Delta are right behind them. So Zack thinks he's big brain using a fuel tank to try and stop them. But that geometry dash ass <laughs> attack was never going to work. <laughs> so it's Claire who peeps in her rearview echo on the side and lays her ass out with the van while Delta still follows. And it's Gray who steps up peeping the shocking stick ready to hit Delta with some police brutality. But yes. their dumbasses is out here struggling to turn it on. And because they take it so long, Delta manages to leap on the truck, but just in time. Ooh, got his ass! Yes. Zapping Delta, laying her ass out. So Project Raptor was an utter fail, hmm. as the squad finds Vic and he starts explaining to them the art of war. Why he had to use the Raptors as weapon, but Lil Bro is lost, nigga can't leave. <laughs> and in the middle of his ginormous yap session, Delta pops up and starts pressing Vic. Vic's backed into a corner, begging for his life, like, Hey, bro, remember me? We used to be tight. Meanwhile, nah. Delta looking at him like, Who are you? <laughs> bro even went as far as to put his hand up to Delta's face. I'm fucking fine. <laughs> he thinks he's him. Yeah, but seriously, he ain't. Yeah. This isn't gonna work for you, big hungry bro. This. Delta starts devouring him, and the rest of these niggas dipped out like the Scooby gang was not looking to help him at all. <laughs> Thing is though, they get outside to be pressing them. Delta done caught up and Echo's here looking for some eats too. I wonder what Charlie's thinking about this. <laughs> yeah, Charlie's dead. <laughs> Owen goes to calm Blue down. We've been like this since the egg hatch twin. Taking off her McDonald's headset for her. You don't gotta work that shitty job anymore, baby girl. But all that cute reminding and kumbaya gets interrupted by the Indominus Rex. She told them to murder everyone and they out here making friends. Hmm. The fuck y'all think this is? The boy in the striped pajama? Telling him to get back to work. But she looks at Owen giving him a nod. And they already locked in mentally on the same exact page. We not playing fair one bit whatsoever. We about to jump her ass. So she goes to tell the Indominus Rex to fuck herself. But she wasn't trying to hear it. Laying me out clean. The Indominus Rex then sets her sights on Owen and company, but the rest of the Raptors Owen company. Like, no, fuck that! <laughs> so Delta's got Owen's back as well as does Echo too. And the Indominus is just like, oh, after everything I did for y'all, putting food on y'all's plates, giving y'all freedom, nigga thinks she Martin Luther Rex. <laughs> right. Delta and Echo then run and jumping on her while the humans get away. And while they're on top of the Indominus feasting on her back, Owen is down below, spraying her with the blicky straight headshots, managing to dodge her tail last minute. But this failed jumping gonna go down in history, right next to the Madara versus Shinobi short bus reliance, hmm. because she throws one of them off her and then Owen peeps Claire dipping out while Echo runs and hops back in there. Owen must have thought she was hitting the Avatar Aang, disappearing, hmm. but back where her and the boys were camping, Grey mentions to her how they need more teeth to fight the Indominus, hmm. so she's going to get more. 
While Owen is spraying, Echo gets grabbed and thrown into a fire. That's barbecue chicken now. Damn. So that's Charlie and now Echo vibing at the Michael Jackson concert <laughs> together. As Owen dodges a tail strike and Delta gets snagged up and thrown to the side. So she and that bitch too requesting <laughs> criminal next up. Owen is hiding with the boys telling them to shh as she creeps her head right to them and starts wallowing trying to eat their asses using her claws to try and snag a snack. Meanwhile, Claire's at the gate and hits up the Super Smash Bros. demon to open the gate. <laughs> and once he does, we see the T-Rex emerge from the shadows. Yep. And her OG. name is Rexy. Yep. I mean, it's a good idea, but this is basically like bringing a PS1 to a console war versus a PS5. <laughs> good luck with them pixels, my nigga. <laughs> but Claire uses the flare to bring her over to the fight. Pulling up to the fight, throwing that shit at the Indominus so she knows exactly who the op is. No sweet talking your way out of this <laughs> spade this time. As Rexy starts talking her shit, but the Indominus gotta let her know right back. This it's shit not about to be sweet like this. <laughs> it's go time, as Rexy charges in, biting her neck and headbutting the Indominus. They then continue to repeatedly trade neck bites back and forth between one another until the Indominus Rex decides, Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm white! <laughs> Realizing she doesn't have to engage in this ignorant back and forth, using her longer arms to her advantage, calling Rexy and then slamming her down with her arms. And this right here goes to show why evolution is OP. Kyrie Irving in the 60s NBA might get put on the stake for witchcraft. Because Rexy gets re-slammed and her neck bitten. At this point, she stopped moving as the Indominus Rex scoops her up and slams her head through the building. Rexy hmm. then somehow manages to get back up only to get slammed right back down, yep. sadly calling out for help. It's looking like it's over and all the rest of them could do is watch because what the fuck else is there? They about to jump in? So the Indominus Rex walks over to Rexy, stepping on her and goes to eat her butt. Suddenly, a sound starts coming from the distance. Yep, it's blue. got everyone frozen, including the Indominus, and it's blue. She said, I'm not done yet. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's gonna me! That's why he's the goat. goat! She hops on the top of the Indominus and starts violating her back, straight feasting. And Rexy decides, oh yeah, fuck the ones, I'm not playing fair. <laughs> Biting the Indominus in the neck into a building mm. and then pulling it away by the neck again. The rest of them dip into the gift shop because they like common trying to get into the Drake and Kennedy. <laughs> Insignificant. How do you know you got beef with common? And he got me back in uh, state scheme, remember? Oh, he dissing everybody. He dissed common? Y'all, bro, I think he should let that go, but man, yeah, yeah, yeah. As Blue goes <laughs> into the shop, but instantly hops back in there. But Rexy tells her to hold up, let no me cook. cook, and decides to call an ISO on the Indominus, head ramming her into the building, then grabbing her by the face, throwing her to the ground. <laughs> The Indominus Rex starts dramatically getting back up, but Blue's like, nah, nah that's not, not enough. enough. <laughs> Popping back in there, this is for my sisters, while Rexy bites her in the neck and Blue gets tossed away. But while the Indominus Rex is checking out her swing, Rexy pulls up like a linebacker hmm. and rams her onto the ground, laying her out. And she got the relentless ass beating taker bag <laughs> because she gets back up and starts getting pressed. Yep. It's looking bad for the Indominus. She got cuts all over her like Hannah Baker. Damn. Got chunks missing out of her face. Shorty mm -hmm. looking like Boo Ark Gohan. But while standing off, the Ooh. Mosasaurus said, I'm leaving here with some. Yep. Grabbing her something. and pulling her into the water to end all of this madness. Yep. All right. Don't we recap Zephyr? Oh, Zephyr. Blade Boy. I almost called him Zephyr, excuse me. <laughs> Forgive me for that, but yeah, W recap Blade Boy, man. It's, it was a hell of a great fight at the end, man, with the OG OG Rex and um and Dominus and, and, and Blue. I was like, damn man, that was that was a hell of a fight seeing that. That was a hell of a fight, man, man. That's why that's why I, I really like the first rest of the world to this day because of that. And, and for other reasons too as well. But overall, W recap Blade Boy, keep up the great work with these, man. Keep up the great work. So Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Blade Boy's recap. A Jurassic World. So, George, please let everybody come share your thoughts. What is your favorite Jurassic Park slash World movie? And from worst to best, I would say. So, uh, overall, how many? And um, how old was you when you saw when you saw Jurassic World? By the way, I was ooh, sixteen or seventeen. Cause a year later, I graduated. So this came out twenty fifteen. So yeah, I, I gotta be like sixteen, seventeen when this came out. But overall, this was a great, great recap. Blank boy, keep up the great work. So, Hawk Squad, please stay tuned because my Hawk Banger recap marathon continues with Judge's recap of the Matrix trilogy. So, Hawk Squad, please stay tuned for that.